Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you this fun and festive 4th of July makeup look and I'm really excited about it because it's super classic but it's also really dramatic. If we're being real here, I usually don't wear any makeup on the 4th of July because I'm either swimming or I'm out in the sun and I just don't really want to worry about that but if you're someone who likes to go out for the 4th of July and you like to go all out with your makeup, this is definitely something that you would want to wear. I really really like this look. I probably would wear it even not at the 4th of July just because it is wearable but I also wanted to say two really exciting things so today actually at 5 p.m. I don't know if this video is gonna go up before or after 5 p.m. but today right now my jewelry collection with stillness is actually live and I'm so so excited about it and I will show you my jewelry collection right now and I'm really excited about this because I helped design it and it was a long process and I'm so excited for it to be live. This is the first collaboration that I'm ever doing and so it's just really, it's really surreal for me and I'm really, really, really happy about it. But the whole theme behind it is obviously they're all stars and my saying is shine like the stars. Basically it's all about like if you dream big enough, if you work hard enough to get what you want, you will get it. So I will put all the links down below where you can get all that information and you can see my store and my website whatever it'll all be down below also another exciting thing is I just found out that I made the top 12 of the Nick Space Awards and I'm so nervous about it because it keeps getting smaller and smaller every time and the challenges get harder and harder but it's so fun and I'm so excited and I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who voted for me and who's been supporting me because I couldn't have done it without you. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I couldn't have got to the top 12 without you. So thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So first I'm going to start by priming my face with the NYX Hydro Touch Primer Base. And this is one of my favorites right now. It just feels so good on the skin and it is super moisturizing. Then I had to put my hair up because it gets really hot in my room with all those lights. And then I'm going to put some foundation on. This is the Born This Way foundation in the shade Pearl. It is a little bit too light for me, but I will be adding cream contour to warm up my face a little bit. And I'm using the Furless Cosmetics makeup brush, and I seriously love this thing. I will talk more about it in my monthly favorites video on Wednesday, but anyways, I love it so much and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Then for the cream contour, I'm using Contour as a Girl's Best Friend by Velvet59 and I'm taking that lighter taupey shade and I'm just going to put that on the outsides of my face just to warm everything up and to let it match my neck and stuff like that and I'm just using that same foundation brush. Then for concealer I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light. This is the shade up from Fair that I normally use but since I've been self tanning I cannot use Fair because it is super light. Then I'm just gonna buff that in with the same brush I'm telling you, these brushes, oh wait, this is the smaller brush of the three, but these brushes are seriously so amazing. I can definitely see myself using them like crazy in the future. Then for powder, I'm just using my extremely used up Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder in light, and I'm just packing that on the places that I put my concealer on with the little brush. And then I'll be taking the bigger brush and just placing that all over my face so that when I use powder bronzer, it'll go on evenly and not be all patchy and gross. Then for bronzer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Bikini Contest. And I'm just warming up the outsides of my face like I normally do. And then I'll be cleaning up the edges after I put blush on with that same powder. This is how I normally like to contour. You should go feathers and see this too. Then for blush, I'm using the Artist Couture blush in fetish and holy crap, 
This blush is freaking beautiful. It is super luminous, so it's kind of like a highlight in one, but it's seriously so pretty for when you want to look extra dewy. Then I'm just cutting my cheeks with that powder like I said before. Now I'm filling in my brows with my micro brow pencil by NYX in Taupe. This is my favorite brow pencil at the moment. It just works so well. It matches my brows perfectly. And I'm just shaping my brows a little bit and then brushing through them and adding some clear mascara to them and then carving them out with some concealer. But if you want to see a full-on brow tutorial, go ahead and check the link in the description. I just did a full-on brow tutorial in my latest video. Then I'm just going to add some of that concealer and then curl my lashes and then set my lids with some powder. And then I'm taking the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay and taking those two taupey brown shades and buffing them into my crease just to give me some depth and darkness to the look. Then I'm taking this shimmery champagne color and putting that on my brow bone, my inner corner, and on the inner half of my lid. Then with this beautiful electric blue shade, I'm just gonna buff that out on my lower lash line and this is going to be our pop of blue for the look. Then I'm taking NYX's electric liner, this is the blue one, and I'm waterlining my eyes and also adding a little bit over the top of that blue shadow. Then with NYX's gel liner in Epic Black, I'm creating a pretty dramatic winged liner. And then once that's done, I'm gonna take the white version of that gel liner and just go over the top of it and it's gonna look a little bit messy but all you have to do is just go over the black liner again and it will be perfect and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second Now going over my lashes with the Nuance Mascara just to darken them up a bit for my falsies and I'm using the Empress Lashes by Iris Beauty and Wake Up and Makeup and I love these lashes. I use them almost in every single tutorial so everyone's probably getting annoyed of it but I don't care. And for the beautiful highlighter that I'm so obsessed with, the Ofra Highlighter in Beverly Hills. I'm not sure if it's available yet but when it is Dear Lord, you need to get it. It is magical. And then I'm taking this bright red lipstick by The Bomb and I am just filling in my lips with that and the name of it will be down below, but this red is one of my favorites. It definitely stays on for a long amount of time and it's just such a good red. It's very cool toned and it looks good on anybody. Then to finish up the look, we're gonna take some setting spray. Today I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna let my hair loose, pin back one side, and that is the completed look. I love how this look turned out. It's very pinup, very classy, but very 4th of July festive, if you know what I mean. And it's fun. All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.